Alright, I'll get I got to watch Tark hit. Ooh. Cool. And you want me on Overwatch then? If you would, sir. Yep. All right. Game plan is to to make a watchtower kit. We need six rags, two stacks of six. We combine the two to make rope, improvised rope, more specifically. So the game plan here is we have our main base, and we're gonna have to make a tower that's appealing for the newbies to come into. And w or want to come into, and then we can shoot them from our side uh, over here in this base. So, make a little quick run around here. It's gonna be over by our garden here in the front. Your people pick those all the time, and we have plenty of windows, rooftop space to shoot down into that, and keep things locked outside to keep the the plumbuses, the uh, the thieves, the banditos. I'm gonna just hack a tree to get some logs. Burb. Okay, no problem. I think I put a hatch. Take the spark plug out the car. Uh, yeah. I did. I'm not gonna cut any trees next to the cars. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. And then we'll have to move these vehicles and get things situated because we literally have a fucking used car park out here. It's hot. Super hot. Alright, let me cut down one of these smaller trees. Yeah! So, the game plan is to put a generator, some lights, the actual electrical lights with the cables facing outward and some Christmas lights on the top of the tower. And then if we've got landmines, we can stick them on the top of the tower for a second story. And, and or I mean, we don't even need those really, but uh, it's a, it's a nice to have. Trust me, because it's funny. But we're gonna if you don't have anything, we just leave the lights on at the very top, make it look like we have something there, and then just kind of lay and wait inside the base when it's all locked up. Oh yeah. We'll split these. We just need how many sticks? Four. So we just split it one more time. Finally. Finally. Alright, just four sticks, so we'll make a complete stack of five. Where's that improviso rope? There it is. And combine fence kit. Nope, I think right trigger one time. Yep, watchtower. There we go. Bam! We're going to leave the opening towards the base. We don't want to have the tower used against us. So we want to make sure there's always an opening. And that's pretty self-explanatory, but you always want to make sure you're cognizant of that, because I've definitely put shit the wrong way many times. Just yeah, starting to go to daytime, which is great. Ooh. We have ship sank. Whoops, sorry. That's from another game. <laughs> See you, thieves. Alright, let me back up here. This should be pretty good. What do you think, guys, right here? Don't see why not. Just want to make sure you guys got a good line of sight from the windows. It's kind of arbitrary position. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Hell yes. All right, we got those up. Now, the other trick is, I know on this patch, this is 1.01 .01 for us. Uh, you can stack things like logs in there, get a bigger stack out of it for one, and then you can also pull them out when you're done, which is pretty dope. Ooh, zucchini, stealing it. So this will take four pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and open the inventory so you guys can take a look. I'm a fan of just getting to the placement zone and then just dropping it, which I think is in the middle. Is it in the middle? Aha, there we go. So if you have the item in your hand, then you can just straight attach it. You don't have to go into your inventory. I like that. This should be a stack of two. Yep. And this base will need four total. Makes sense. Did I plant that crooked? No, it, I did. I planted it crooked. I got to fix that. Shit. We don't want them to have any kind of cover. We want their britches to be down. Yep. Alright, so here's here's the trick with stacking. So if it's a tower, it will stack logs to four because there's four corners. And now when I, I have to go into the inventory of the tower 
then I can put it directly to my hands. Now this is a stack of four. You normally cannot stack it four deep. Hell, I don't think you can stack it too deep. I'm gonna pack it up and reposition. Watch tower kit. Take a look. The worst. Keep placing it. <laughs> Keep placing it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Still have to do. <laughs> Plays it twice now. Alright, for the argument's sake, we're gonna keep going. So we have a stack of four logs. Badoom! Now, the next step for a fence kit or even a tower kit is always to put the poles up, and you do need your trusty shovel. Always! For bearing loot. And the activation point is this is the opening here. Left, now right. And then you just need to walk up towards the logs, I think. Or is it in the center? Somewhere around here. The hot spot to actually stick them in the ground. Or do I have to do it here? Oh, wait. Oh, I guess we do it on the inside. Just hold the right trigger when the shovel's equipped. And just wait for it to finish. The pole should pop up. And then we should be able to remove them with no repercussions on this build. And this is the Xbox version 1.01. .01. I didn't mean to just stuff that in my pants. I meant to actually put that on my belt. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to do the framework first. We technically don't need to do um, any uh, outside wall frames yet. I want to do floors and then staircases, and they're usually fairly expensive. All right, let me grab some planks. Um, a side note, you can saw up logs, these big support logs, to be planks. It's good when in a pinch if you can't find any plank pallets. But if you can't find a plank pallet, um, it's very, very much recommended. It's uh, well worth your time. All right, we have some planks in here, I believe. Oh, yes. We also have a sea chest full of it. Watch, this will be the time I get sniped on when we're doing the tutorial piece. <laughs> oh, it's happened before. I kind of like the rush, though. You know what Full I mean? Straight off. Yeah, I don't get it. How come I can't build this? Uh... Oh, is it it's clipping, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Second if, story here? If it clips in a weird way, it doesn't do it. At least on that particular spot in orange. Okay. Okay, so we're going to grab some planks. A full stack of 20. And the same idea we did before. Okay, by the way. So this is the opening here. The one we're looking at on the outside. So if I were to step in, this is the first wall or left wall. Back wall and then the right wall. So to do things that go up, I believe the activation point is on the inside looking in towards the doorway. Then we attach, and I think the pile should be like, okay, like dead center. That's good. I'm going to take a stack of nails and place it in the same place. Now, if I were to place it here, it would place it on the actual wall itself. And we, we want to do floor and stair pieces so you get a better idea where that activation point is. Let me move this so it's not confusing. These are actually in an activation point on the tower itself. So hatchets can be used as hammers. Hammers can be used as construction hammers. The only downside to that is I don't think the hammers in this patch are currently being repaired by sharpening stones or duct tape, the almighty duct tape. So we use hatchets because they can be used again. Uh, they can also be used for destruction. So uh, be cognizant of that as well. All right, so we go in here, and if we look towards the doorway as we're standing in, we should see options to do, in this case, the roof, because it's the only thing we have left. Or well, the only thing we can do in this direction. So we're going to do it. It should just put the canopy right above our head. Boom. Hell yeah. Now, I believe, oh, okay, yeah, same activation point. I call it the center, like back towards the opening. As long as you have enough nails and planks, you should be able to build stairs. So what do we have here? 79 and 10. I think this takes five planks and maybe like 15 or 10. So 79, 10. All right, build the stairs. And we have 
61. Oh, they take six. How about that? All right, well, there you go. So our hatchet's already taking damage. So in the interest of us not destroying it, we're going to use the old duct tape trick and fix that bash. Looking somewhat suspicious. Somewhat suspicious. But not juicy. Not yet. Okay, so now we can take these pieces and go upstairs. I kind of like to go in the inventory this time. Take things like the nails, stick it in my pants, and then we'll go right for the planks. Now, the other activation point is the same thing, but it's up one level. So, uh, we can't really do... Oh, this is the dodgy bit. What's the dodgy bit? I'm, I'm scared. You on there. Alright, so now we're going to take our logs again, go up to the second story and place on the inside out. Now let's place it just by the stairs and I think we don't need a shovel again. Um, let's go ahead and place enough planks this time and nails. We're just gonna try to max out the slots. We'll go ahead and take a look at what it takes. We'll shove that back in our pants. It's showing us what we have in the slot. It's not, is it? Bastard. All right, well, let me just bust out a hammer. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Okay, build floor. Ready? Here we go. Doot, 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 doot. Four logs again. Going up. Boing. And we'll go ahead and remove those again. Okay, so we just put those up. Oh, wow. Okay, so by the way, if you're looking at the left column, this also works for barrels, too. This is quite nice. Let me see if I can just turn this off so you can guys, guys can see what we got going on here. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. He's coming in handy when your loot list is pretty long. So I'm going to go ahead and move by the watchtower and move my watch now. It's not going to let me do it. Can I move over one? All right. Well, if we're looking at the top where it says vicinity, if I push in the right thumbstick, it closes it entirely. It collapses it and then push it again. It opens it back up. We should be able to do it on these smaller levels, but for whatever reason, it can't. Okay. So um, we're going to take our logs back out. We're going to put our hatchet back in our pants. Oh, wow, this is getting pretty janky. It's a little weird on this patch, eh? Oh, there we go. Logs. I'm going to drop those. Hopefully that's not terribly confusing for everybody. We're just using the same ones over and over again. Now, let's see. We've got 89 and 20. So let's see how many planks and nails it takes to do a floor. 89, 20. All right, so... We have just one option because we're in the center slot. Boom, floor. What was it, 89, 20? So 20 nails and exactly 20 planks. Or 10 planks, 20 nails. Wow. And we should be able to do stairs. We have 69, 10. And it should be 6 planks and what, 10 nails? Oh, I got that way out, don't I? Oh, we'll pick up our excess materials, like our log, logs, plural, plural. <laughs> this should be the last floor. If we go to the center and look out towards the stairs, right trigger to attach all four. I think we can just place these up like this. Hatchet. Yep, we sure can. So build floor is actually build posts. Uh, this is a lot higher than you think when you get up here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I think the last floor here should be the, uh, when I do the ceiling, it's going to be like the, the rooftop. It's pretty badass though, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. And then we can start to do the wall frames, kind of like we did the fences and everything else, or the gates, and pick and choose. We probably obviously want to leave it open as much as we can for us to shoot at, because we're good guys. Oh, wow, yeah. this, this slot's I think maybe weird. the bottom level should be sealed up. Oh, we gotta we could wall, Jenny somewhere. We could wall off the top. You could wall off the top, the lower, sh the lower part Let's... of the walls, and leave, leave it open facing the base, so that no one can get behind anything. And that way we're covered from the hill, then, if you want to get up there to snipe. Alright, so now we've got... how many left here? Yeah, that should be enough. All right, we have 51 nails, 20 planks maxed out the slot. Let me make sure my hatchet. Yeah, we got a lot more nails and planks in here too. Oh yes. So 
Let me start bringing metal over. You gotta do it with planks. Um, probably planks. These guys aren't worth the metal. <laughs> what a dick. You need me to ferry some up, or do you have enough? I think I'm okay. Wait, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I'm alright. I didn't know if my comms were down. Like if I had to push down. Am I missing a piece on this? I feel like I might be. Maybe we do need metal for the rooftop now. Hang on, let me grab some. It would make sense, because before it was like planks, and it. now you have a metal rooftop. Hell yeah. Well, that's new for us. How many do you need, do you think? Um, Probably 10. Seven here. I don't know the exact number, because this is the first time I've had to do it. But, uh, I love your bush. This is just the construction of a basic tower, but we're going to be using some amenities in the base to for nefarious purposes. This is all the people getting kicked off. Good. Scrubs. <laughs> That's so funny the way you carry it like that. I, I got to tell you, when we have these little ledges here, it's really nice to shoot from. All right, that's okay. So yes. Oh, your legs. Are you okay? No. Yeah. Uh, survivable. All right, so I'm going to take this extra piece and just put it down below so it doesn't get in the way so we can see what's going on. All right, so these, these should be the pieces. Watch. <laughs> now it's not going to let us do the top. There we go. So yeah, you do need metal now. So we're looking at uh, 99, 20, and 20. So let's build the roof and see what it does. Oh yeah. Ready? Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 79, oh, yeah. 15, 14. Let's go ahead and fix you our You want to see it from here? Oh, it's a beautiful sight. Dude, you guys got to stand up here and just enjoy it. Oh, yeah. You here with the sun right behind you? That is pretty awesome. So. Yeah, it's cool. We should probably. Sun's rays are going around it. You look freaking angelic up there. You like that? Ah, oh, yeah. Now, okay, we have to tuck the Jenny somewhere. So we could do a tower right next to it and then just wall it off once we get it good. Or we could just maybe like block it up here and just wait for dum dums to come up. Because you know, I, actually, it doesn't really matter if we wall it off. Because what are they gonna do? Take a Jenny down and walk slower so we can shoot them easier? Yeah. Right? <laughs> if anything, that'd be that'd be easier. Yes. Couldn't you put a, a half wall behind you and to your left and right and leave the front open, so that we we can see anyone up there, but then we can use it to snipe. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, and that way nobody on the ground can use it for cover. That's a good idea. Boom, boom, boom. Might as well run that intro. Again, I'm Jade Mikey, part of the Boyfriend Squad. That's hashtag Boyfriend Squad. You can find all three of us. You can tap or click that upper right-hand corner to see the fancy That way it'll protect you slightly from the hill if you're up there. That's true. You can click the upper right-hand corner to get fancy thumbnails for their channel. And uh, my Twitter piece is up there at the top. So if you guys are interested in checking out the stuff that we post and notifications, you can find that there. Boom. And let's see if we can add the finishing touches here. Excellent. Okay, so to add to a wall, yeah, I like the idea of having like a lip up here. So um, can somebody grab the Jenny and start working those pieces over here? If you get a chance, that'd be tight. You boys look hot right here. I mean, what? That's weird. All right, so technically we can take the... What, the Jenny off the roof? Yeah. Oh, wait. I had to hold my comms down for that. So we'll start with the left. We're going to place the nails there. We're going to get right here, and then we're going to grab this bad boy. Man, it gets a little weird when it goes below the fold, doesn't it? Lights. Yeah, the lights and the cable too. If you would please. Oh yeah, dude, that's so hot from here. Look at this. Hey buddy. 
that looks so dope. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Oh, yeah, girl. You might want to just place it downstairs until we get these built. Just for a hot minute. Okay, there we go. I went bottom up and that worked. A scoozy, a scoozy, a scoozy. Yeah, if you just want to stay on the second floor for a minute. Yeah, it's a little cramped. Oh, I just took it off the side. Boop. Ah, looking good, boys. Looking good. Look how my hands just got totally fucked up. There we go. Taking the excess, moving it upstairs. These shouldn't take as much. So we got 79 and 19. This is more than enough. And let's just do the lower portion first. Lower frame. You just right trigger one time to cycle through those things. Beautiful, beautiful. Take our excess, 71. Take our flankage. Go back to our hatchet. And we should be able to do the lower frame. Yes. Sixty-three and eleven. That should be more than enough. And hatchet. Oops, I meant to do lower frame. Hopefully that works. I know sometimes the cycling list can get a little backwards. I I wonder if this is going to do up. Okay, no, it, it it was the right one. Good. All right, so now to do the metal framing on this, because now that we talked about doing like a protection tower for us, doubling as a trap base and a protection tower, or a sniping tower, not protection tower, jeez. Here we go, got it to flick do back more in. more metal? Uh, yes, pre. I think we're good. I think we got enough for all these, I believe. I don't think it takes as much for the halvesies. Alright, so we'll start on this side. We have 51 nails, I think. <gasps> don't lock up. Hatch it. Lower metal wall. Excellent. Grab the metal and the nails. Somebody want to grab a jerry can and a spark plug? If you guys haven't already, that'd be killer. That'd be sweet! Trying to get this in under 30 minutes. I thought we could do it in 10. Boy, was I wrong. Oh, I got like no audio on that. It's creepy. There we go. Hey, do you have a shovel? Do I have a shovel? Uh, I do, yeah. Enough. So we're starting with 318. 31 nails, 8. Uh, metal sheet. Oh, uh, yeah, it's looking hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> Sucks. Put the nails away. We're going to grab the excess metal sheets. Kind of get these downstairs another way. We might have to put the Jenny downstairs. Either way, if we can get them to get into the tower and try to mess around with stuff, brilliant, right? Like, that's what we want. Maybe the Jenny sits on top and there's lights at every level except the top. I'll have to play around and see what's the most effective. What gets the newbies' attention the most? Or geared players. I already know lights do. They love that shit. <laughs> For argument's sake, to show a complete setup, we'll, we'll do something like this. So the Jenny will be on top, the cables will connect to it, and the lights will be facing outward to draw attention in. 
and we'll try to keep the lights away from our face as we need to be able to snipe. So basically this direction, this direction, and this direction, but not this way. That way anybody in the air is like, let's go up to the tower and get wrecked. Oops, sorry. Oh, can we not place them up here? Oh, no. Well, we'll have to use Christmas lights then. We can still do it on the ground floor. It'll still work. Yeah, this one's full. Beautiful. I didn't know if it would clear it when we... um. Alright, just uh, for placement. <coughs> Freaking beautiful. Cable. I think, do I have a spark plug on me? I thought I did. Yeah, did somebody have a spark plug? I'm sorry. <coughs> I thought I was carrying one. I'll bring up the cable then. I've got. I've only got the spark plug for the for the car. That's okay. We can pull it out of here when we're done. <clears throat> so I think a good way to to drop the cable, or it's uh, not a good way, but it's one way. You can plug it in, starting at the engine generator, coming back down. Don't even worry about placing the spool. And then we'll go all the way down here, and then just plug it into the back. Should say connect. Boop, and now we're going to kind of rotate around here until we see a switch on. That way it'll be controlled by the Jenny itself. Okay, so it's not on yet. You want to throw the spark plug in there and s flick the switch? Sir? Oh, it's already connected. Oh. How'd you turn that on? There's, yeah, look around, there's like a little, really tiny button. It's like literally on the face of it. It's so accurate. And there's a little fuel dial on there too. You got it? Let me go first person. I saw it just a second ago. Did we drop the spark plug in there yet or no? Ah, yes. There we go. Yeah, it's on. Now at nighttime, that's going to be super bright. <laughs> Blinding, even. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to find that. Switch off. It's real. Do you want to dig these bugs off again? <sighs> no, it's cool. Um, so yeah, normally you'd see like a bright flare right there, but for whatever reason it's not showing up like this time, but trust me, it'll be there at nighttime. These are super blinding. So if we put one here in the front, one in the side, and then we put some Christmas lights on the actual tower itself, and we stick either landmines or we just wait inside by the windows, that would work too. We'll try to add to this to see how good or bad it is over time. So, bam! The uh, our first step in a trap base in Daisy for the Xbox for launch 1.01. Want to shut off the generator for now? Yeah, that'll work. You look majestic up there, by the way. Majestic. So again, if you like the video uh, for this one as a highlight, be sure to.
click a like on there and if you're interested in not only live streams and more videos slash highlights be sure or I would say consider dropping a subscribe for the channel and we'll just keep we're actually doing this live on stream so we'll just keep doing the live stream from here on out so yeah that looks so good <laughs> oh my goodness shoot one shoot one unsuppressed you won't No, no rounds. Oh, that's hot. That's hot, girl.